Right, so here we're looking at a steeple cab electric engine that was used on the underground. But then um, they look a little bit similar to the, uh, to the 44 ton GEs. Not, not completely, but they have this sort of general outline. But David, you, um, you started painting locomotives trains. when? Trains when? I mean, what inspired you to do that? I'll tell you, I, I started painting drawing trains in school. Mm -hmm. And um, after I left school, I never did like school anyway. After I left school, I still like to draw and paint. And um, I, I used to work with the government. And because of my religious beliefs at the day of the time, I left the government service because you couldn't get Saturday off. I, be, I became a second Adventist. You couldn't get Saturday off, and I um, left the government service. And I, uh, I went into teaching with the Adventists. I didn't like teaching either. Mm -hmm. And I, then I, I next I worked at a factory making writing pads and drill boxes at St. Joseph, called the Public Limits St. Joseph. And, then, and, and when, I was, when I was teaching, I would take train to go to town, back and forth. Then when I got a job in the, in the factory, of course, oh, I didn't like teaching. I lost a job because I didn't like teaching. And I got a job in, a, in St. Joseph there, making, um, actually making dual boxes and writing pads and so on. They mm -hmm. had printing machines there. And the factory had prob financial problems and was closing down, laying off workers. And at the time, they were closing down the railways too. I remember one day, in the factory, I used to work shift, 6 to 2, 2 to 10. Uh, because of because being an Adventist, I can't work Friday night. So instead of working six to two, um, two to ten Friday night, I work six. I work six two to ten Thursday night, and then six to two Friday morning. Anyway, one day I was working six to two one day. No, yes, and rain was falling, and I left work out to go to town, the town, to Port of Spain, and rain was falling. But I went home and I had to take a train to go to town. And the train stopped, the rain stopped a little. So I ran to the railway station in St. Joseph. And the rain started to fall again. So I prayed and said, Lord, please stop this rain. Then I could get the train on the other, on the other platform because it's falling and I want to go to town. And the rain stopped. Mm -hmm. And I crossed the tracks. And I got the train and the rain came. When I got the train, the rain came back down. <laughs> Let me go. Um, so after I left the teaching, uh, after that job closed down, and the train, the railway was being, being shut down, and, and something told me to paint the railways as they are gone, they were gone. And I made, I made a picture of a train. It wasn't like I was doing now, of course, I was just starting. What number and was that? Do you remember the engine? I don't remember. And I, um, I copied it over, I duplicated it. Mm -hmm. And I had it there for, for a long time, and there's some old newspapers. And one day, a friend of mine said, why don't you take the picture of the train to Sibylla Texas Gallery and get it sold? I said, that's a good idea. So I was out of money that week because I did some work for somebody and the man wouldn't pay me. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take out a bicycle. I took the bicycle and I rode all the way to Port of Spain with the pictures of the trains. And um, I parked the bicycle on Shotgun Street and I went upstairs and they got to, and at that time it was a laboratory building. So the civil attack had a had a, a gallery in Salvatore building. So I went upstairs with the pictures and um, I saw a lady sitting down there. She said, what do you want? I said, do you sell a consignment? She said, yes, what do you have? So I showed the pictures with the train. She said, these are unique. So she said, how much are you selling them for? I said, $5 each. And she bought them cash from me. I was surprised. Everyone? Because, yes, both of them, because normally they would sell it on consignment. Mm -hmm. She said, well, do more, more pictures and bring and sell them for you. I said, OK. I did a lot of pictures, not trains, but I did um, still life and sceneries and so on. But I had six. So I took the six to her the following week. She said, well, I'm not buying these from you. I am, um, I will keep three. I won't keep two of the same thing. I'll keep three and you can, I don't want to have the same thing like that. The train was different, but that's not this. I said, okay. So while I was talking to her, it was a, it was a, a, a tourist looking around in the gallery too. So she said, but, um, the man, the, the, the trains you, you sold to me last week, a man who's working the railway bought them. And now he wants you to paint all the locomotives by number. Mm -hmm. And um, according to the number. I said, well, so, so she said, I said, say, okay, she said, you bring them, you, do them, you duplicate them and bring them and buy them from you every week. I said, okay. And that's how I started doing art as a for a living. Mm -hmm. you know? That's how I started making my living by selling pictures of trains. Now, when, now, the lady, so was looking around, when I left the gallery, 
she was ahead of me. Say, so come on, what is it? What do you have there? I show her the three that I have remaining. Say, how much of them? I say, eight dollars. She bought two from me. Uh -huh. So I didn't go home with an empty pocket that weekend. So, and luckily, where I lived, St. Joseph, all the scrap locomotives were behind the hospital in St. Joseph. So kind of, all I had to do was to go down the hill and sketch the locomotive. They had them by number 21, number, number 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And number 28 and number 42 were still in Port of Spain, in, 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 the, in the yard in Port of Spain. Right. And they had the, 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 they had the well, of course, they had coaches also in, in railway stations in Port of Spain. For many years, they had the coaches there. So I made the, sketch, made the sketches. And I, I have a strong imagination, so I, I used my imagination and made I also did um, sketches on railway stations. So, you know, and so I take photographs on railway stations. So what about the, you, you said that you went by bicycle oh, yes, to San I went, Fernando. I, I had to go sketch up number 11 in San Fernando. It's still there in Paris Promenade. And I rode my bicycle from St. Joseph to San Fernando. Just to get, a man say, you're crazy. Just to get a sketch, you know. Mm -hmm. And I also sketched the San Fernando station too. You know, rode the bicycle. And cross-crossing, didn't you? We had not cross crossing, I didn't ride a bike. I think I took a taxi then. Okay. And, okay. I took a photograph, but uh, right. because I didn't know how to get there anyway. So I took the bicycle, and, and, and you know, this first time I went riding a bicycle down there, I had a coaster. You know. But then that must have taken to, you a long time to ride a bike. It to took three, more, three hours, three and a half hours one day. Yes, and when I had to climb Point of Bear Hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, coaster, wait a minute, that's on the, southern, the old southern main road. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. The coaster couldn't work good, so I had bought a three speed mm -hmm. with first, second, and third gear. Right. So when I went south again, I had another, made another trip. I was able to climb the point up here, point up here, hill, and first gear. Wow. You know? And so, that, so it was on that trip that you took the photograph of the bridge by Point up here? I, I think so, you know. Mm -hmm. I think so, that bridge, I believe so, in one of those trips I took the photographs. Yes. Oh, no, oh, no, no, I didn't have a camera then. Okay. It's after, long after, when I took, I took a taxi. Right. And I took, because I wanted to get that bridge, mm -hmm. you know, going down the point of it. Have you ever made a painting on that bridge? Never did. Okay. But I have, the, I have all the, I have things, I have a lot of things. For instance, when the customs was burned down, I say, you know something? All the old buildings in Port of Spain going down. So I went around town, taking out all the old buildings, and mm -hmm. had all the old landmarks. Right. For instance, opposite the railway station, they are building, that place is now desolate. There's nothing there. Yeah. I have photographs of all the buildings that used to be there. Mm -hmm. And the Princess Building, before it burned down, I took off photographs of the Princess Building. Fantastic. Now it's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, it yeah, was destroyed yeah. by fire. Of course, it was replaced by a big thing, um, what do they call it, uh, a complex there right now. Yeah. You know? So that's how I started painting pictures of trains. You know, that's how I began to make selling paint, um, art and the paintings on the art market. Then um, after that, uh, what happened after that? As the time went by, I started going bigger, two big, big um, paintings with trains. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine went along to Royal Bank with the, with the, and, the, and, the and he got a book for me there with Royal Bank, and I, they commissioned me to do paintings. And a lot of them were trains. Yes. You know, and other landmarks too. You know. Okay. That's how I started. That was a, I mean, that was a, an exhibition you were doing or something? No, I was doing paintings for Royal Bank. Right. No, my friend was selling to Royal Bank. Right. I might have been 20, between 25 or 26, 28 around here. Right, right. And he would take them and sell them to Royal Bank. So I would put them and so that's why they took them here. So right. They were, they were changing over the foreign pictures, mm -hmm. local pictures. Right. And they commissioned me to do those paintings, so that's right. And that picture of yeah. number 23, that's 23 in Arima? 23, yes. Right, that's a, so that was the first one you did of Arima? Right. right. And then the second one was number 28? Right. right. So, so that was after all the smaller ones. Right. right. But they do the ones go 14 by 10. Right. But these were the first big, big ones I ever did. Okay. 24 by 36. So here we are standing in front of one of these um, Coney Island number no. five subway cars. But David, tell us a little bit about um, the painting, the last train to San Fernando. You did a couple of those, right? How, how did I you did. end up doing that? Okay. A friend of mine, Mr. Ch Clarence Charles, when I had my first exhibition on the, in February 1976, I had 
I don't remember if I had trains in it, but after we came together as partners in business, he advised me to paint the... Uh, but I, I used to be doing it before he came anyway. Mm -hmm. The tram car by Salvatore and the uh, and Lashio de San Fernando. Right. To go to the, to, to the seller's prints. Right. And um, that's, why, that's why I did it, because of his advice. You right. Know? And I did and they, they, but they didn't sell too well because but the tree the, the one with the trap car they sell because it was a prettier painting. But I did a bigger one of the last year of another which was sold to a private a private customer. That one was three feet by four feet. And um, I then he advised me to do another uh, uh, what I would say. That was back in nineteen seventy six, wasn't it? Yes, we did yeah. a, he is happy to do other, 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 other type of pictures mm -hmm. with, with involved people doing things like the really ironing, right? The really, really mortar and the pestle pong and planting and, and old houses and so on, you know. And because you say people are more related to that than trains and trams, right? Right, and it's a fact because more, more the most the people who are most uh, instrumental in buying pictures are women, right? So they would want something that had to do with the house, right. So the, lady, the picture of the lady making a bed in the oven was very fascinating to them, and the one with the lady ironing, mm -hmm. and that's what made my name popular in Trinidad. But the ones I've seen, that are, yes. the, the ones I saw mostly in Trinidad yes. were that one with the lady ironing, ironing yes. last train to San Fernando. Right. right. That was a big print they sold, um, yes. the tram car, the tram car. with railway in front, Right. That and was. then the trolley bus one. I've that, seen that those was, a lot. That was done on a calendar. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was never done on a print, it was done on a calendar. Okay. You know, that, that, yeah, that was very good. sold at the many, many uh, business places uh, for calendars. And, um, well, as the time went by, we went up to different islands in the Caribbean and did other cultures, you know, other sceneries and mm -hmm. so on. And we went to Jamaica because his wife, my first wife, was a Jamaican. Right. And there I painted the basket with the Aki. Jamaica's no, the, 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 the national dish is Aki and Sawfish. And, um, I was interested in, in trains in Jamaica. Right. His wife took me by the station in Kingston. And uh, they were still running trains there at the time. Yes. And then they gave me a book. She, she took photographs of the look of the engine 50, 54. Right, right. the station. I have the photographs of the station. His wife. And um, now I'm now painting a picture with number 54. Right. In Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I've seen in Jamaica. Yeah. Yes.